we just got back from an event and it was held at Hearts Chapel. A speaker came in and her name is Allison Bechtel. You may have heard of her. She's a very successful woman. She actually invented the Bechtel test. The Bechtel test is named after Allison Bechtel. The Bechtel test came out in 1985. came out in her first comic strip called Dykes to Watch Out For. The Bechtel test asks whether a work of fiction features at least two women or girls who talk to each other about something other than a man or a boy. I learned about this Bechtel test in my Women and Gender Studies class. I absolutely love that class and I absolutely love learning about her. I had no idea what the Bechtel test was, but I'm so happy I got to learn about it. Especially a lot of movies nowadays do not even pass the Bechtel test, which is very sad. The movie has to have three requirements to pass the Bechtel test. The first one is that there has to be more than two women in it. The second one is they have to talk to each other. And are they talking about something other than a man? About half of all films meet these requirements according to user edited databases and the media industry press. The test is used as an indicator for the active presence of women in films and other fiction and to call attention to gender inequality in fiction. Alison Bechtel has achieved many great accomplishments including the Bechtel test. There are many more accomplishments that you don't know about. One thing she did was opened a musical about her father's suicide and eventually became on Broadway in April 2015 with positive reviews. She also won five Tony Awards, including Best Musical. Bechtel came out as a lesbian at age 19. Her sexuality and gender nonconformity are a large part of the core messages of her work. Alison Bechtel liked to draw when she was a kid and eventually became a full-time cartoonist in the 1990s and later moved near Burlington, Vermont. Alison Bechtel is a true inspiration to many people, and I hope one day many of you would like to go see her speak and listen to her story.